Hello, my friends. How long has it been? A couple months, right? Boy, have I missed you. I have so much to tell you, and I'm going to do a makeup video real quick. I'm getting ready for work, and we're gonna catch up a little bit. If I can even remember where we left off, what is two months ago, I think? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I think it's actually been longer than that. So let me, um, let me get going on my makeup because I'm working today from 1 to 11, and right now it is 11. Chimmy is under the table here, just trying to play with everything. Their kittens are seven months old now. Um, they're thriving. That's the best news. They're, they've been, um, the girls have been spayed. Chimmy has been neutered, and they are doing amazing, and I couldn't be happier to tell you that. Let me grab, I'm trying to grab some foundation. So yes, when I tell you a lot has happened, I am not exaggerating. So I think we left off when I left the other job and I had some wine and ate some candy and told you guys the story about the way that they were just bullies and mean. And I hear you. What would you like me to do? Mommy's making a video. So that's where I left off, I believe. So I got a, I'm in my makeup box, you're sitting on it. I got a phone call from Human Resources of that company. I remember I told you about how the one manager was the jerk and then the one that was nice was out of town on a cruise when all this happened. Well, he, HR called me from this company and said that that manager had forwarded the email that I had sent him explaining why I quit. So she, HR called me and said, we wanna talk about, we wanna talk about why you quit. Hi, are you coming to say hi? He's on the desk, y'all. So I, she said, can you, set up an interview time with me. We want to talk about, just on the phone, we want to talk about your email. I said, no problem. Mind you, she called me. I never went to HR. I never did any of that. I just wanted to be done with that place. I wasn't going to, I, I'm not trying to make waves. I'm not trying to get people in trouble. I didn't badmouth the company. I didn't say the name of the hotel or the company in my videos, or I don't even think I said it on my social media. I, Believe it or not, I'm a professional. So anyway, I set up this interview with her. And meanwhile, I'm putting resumes everywhere. I told you guys that I had like 20 interviews and I did. So I get this woman on the phone. I tell her the whole story of what I went through, the same thing that I told you guys. And she, it turns out, was not interested in hearing the story. She wasn't interested in why, why I quit. This is the Beauty Bakery flower. I have a nail appointment on Saturday. Do not come for me for these nails, okay? You'll, you'll understand why I am, my hair, my roots are getting done this weekend too. I will explain, don't worry. And if anyone's watching this, thank you for still being here. Love you. So this one was not interested at all in why I quit or me or my feelings. She was interested in defending the guy and that's all she did she made excuses for his behavior and the other person the young lady that I that made fun of me she was only interested in defending them and explaining trying to explain away their behavior and making me out to be oversensitive girl And I can understand if I'm, you know, threatening some kind of action, if I'm doing something to come back to them, if I'm something like that, it would make sense. You know, you're defending your company. That's your job. Sure. But I never said a word. I just walked away. Anyway, put it behind us. I sure did. We're moving on. So I interview for this job that I really do want. 
Um, by the way, I did a Target order, an online Target order. Aerosol hairspray. This is the hairspray I have been using since sixth grade, Aussie sponge spray. They sent me aerosol hairspray. Never in all the years of my life have I been someone who uses aerosol hairspray. As soon as I have time to get to Target, I will get the right thing and this will be given to somebody else because no. So I interview over the phone for this job I really do want. And it was with two, two managers and they seem to like me. So I'm excited about it. Mac blush. It looks like a super dark wine, but it's not. And even though I've been on a makeup buying hiatus, I have so much new makeup. If I don't get a chance to show it today because I'm just getting ready, I will in a future video. So I, meanwhile, after that interview, which I feel really good about, I get, an, I get a call from another company that I had interviewed for a job I had seen on either LinkedIn or Indeed.com, one of them. I had sent a resume over and the person calls me back and says, um, are you in Northern California? Are you in the Bay Area or willing to relocate to the Bay Area? And I said, I'm so sorry for wasting your time. I applied for a position that said remote, so I'm sorry. No, I live in Las Vegas. They, they email me back and say, yeah, we did say remote. And it was, it said um, hospitality manager, like $22 an hour, something like that. And it, it sounded, I mean, Lord knows I have over 20 years of hospitality management experience. 22 bucks an hour sounds good when you have nothing. I'm gonna use this Beauty Blink um, Glow Getter Face Palette because it's great. It's got all of those colors, but the, um, the highlights on them are pretty legit. And they also work really well as eyeshadow. So I said, I'm sorry, I'm in Vegas. They said, all right, thank you for your time. And, and then ended up contacting me less than a week later and saying, can I interview you? And I said, I mean, why not? So we end up doing an interview, which, and because they said, we, we will consider, we're gonna consider a remote worker for what we do. And I'm, I'm thinking, what do I have to lose? I'm gonna listen. This is the Weirdo palette from JSC. Um, I was definitely not buying makeup because I wasn't working. But are you coming in here? No. You sure can. If you want to say hi. They don't want to see me this morning. Everybody always wants to see you, Marcel. You're adorable. Anyway, they had this for $12 on the website, and I'm a weak person, okay? Wait till I show you the other stuff. It turns out BT21 did a ColourPop collab, and I will quickly show you the two little things that I got. They're the Ultra Shock, what do they call it? Super Shock Shadow. And we'll we'll show them in another video. And then, because I, I really wasn't spending money, they have the Luxe Lip Oil. So I got two of those. I got the Kooky one and the Chimmy one. I always buy the Chimmy one because Chimmy's my favorite character. But the Kooky ones are always either rose or pink and I love them. Um. Anyway, weirdo. You see how I talk? This is why people don't listen to me. This is why I have you guys. So I agree to an interview. Um, and we the interview consisted of a FaceTime for an hour with two people talking like old friends. We had tea, we were chit-chatting, we talked about my experience, and it was a man who, in the emails, I misgendered because he had a name that was that is 99% of the time associated with women. So I misgendered him, which we had a little laugh about. And he ended up saying, you know, I, I wanna give you this job. And I, and he, he outlined for me what my duties would be. I hear you, Violet, hello. Now she's down here, or it might be serendipity, I don't know. Sari, is that you? So I accept the job because it's only three days a week. He said, I want you to work three, these three days a week from this hour to this hour, 10, 10 and a half hour shifts. I'll pay you this much money 
and the job seemed relatively low maintenance and the money was pretty legit for the work that he's asking me to do so i accept it he's like great i'm going out of town when i get back we will talk about pay and all of that i said sounds good meanwhile this other job i'm telling you i interviewed for they finally come back after two weeks bless you marcel sneezed and she says i'm sorry i was out of town but I am back now because this company is expanding to Mexico. But she's she's back now and she would like to offer me the job. As well. So the money worked out to be the same as this other guy's little job for three days a week. And she's she does four ten hour shifts. And the but the money the money was the same. The only difference was the company she's offering me is worldwide known, huge company, and they're gonna give me health insurance. This other guy doesn't do that. So, and the other the other one is a pretty small business. It's only in one city, you know, type thing. So I went with the bigger company and because I really wanted that job. Mind you, neither of these are hotel management. I'm stepping out into something new. So I email the other guy and I say, I'm sorry, um, I've taken another opportunity. It's a better opportunity. I can get health insurance. I can make more money because there's um, unlimited opportunity for overtime and that kind of thing. So I professionally apologize and let him know. Anyway, so I, I say yes to the other job. And, but it, he ended up reaching out a few days later when he got back to town and he said, I'm just got this, I'm so sorry. Is it too late for me? You know, can I still, can I still get you for my company? By the way, I have a drink right here, it's coffee. In a Jimin cup. Because the best part of waking up is Jimin on your cup. Am I right or am I right? And it tastes a little bit like toothpaste because I'm a dummy. Who brushed my teeth before having that coffee? Anyway, this guy says, am I too late? He calls me up. Can I still steal you for this, for my job? What is this other company offering you? So I tell him, well, they're willing to give me 40 hours. You're only giving me 30. And you know, it's a, it's a little bit more per hour. But the biggest draw is the health insurance. I have to have health insurance. And he says, okay, what if I give you this much money and this, and he really sweetened the deal. In, as the, as the Italian types would say, made me an offer I couldn't refuse. He provided just immediate help if I worked with him. So I, I took the position and I'm gonna tell you why. The other company, the shift that she offered me was four tens and the three days off are the same three days this guy wants me to work for him. So do you see where I'm going with this? I now work seven days a week. This is my new mascara. It's the Jeffree Star approved mascara from JSC. They had it on sale for I think 15 bucks and I bought it. And it, I mean, it's very extra. It is so extra, look at this. It's a, if you're into that, but it can be removed and I will 100% be removing it because I just want the mascara. So, I, now I find myself with two jobs, two jobs. I work 10 hours, 10 hours a day, four days a week, 10 and a half hours a day from home, three days a week. So the days that I'm off of the job that I go to where I'm going today, the days I'm off from that job, I'm working from home at the kitchen table with my laptop because Marcel works from home in this office. Her desk is behind the one that I'm talking to you on, which is my desk. 
So now you understand why you have not seen me in so long. I work two full-time, essentially full-time jobs. Am I tired? You have no idea. But things financially are obviously getting a lot better. By the end of this month, we should be in pretty decent shape. They both know about the cruise coming up. Speaking of which, I'm going to sit down this weekend and I'm going to do a video for you guys about cruise tips. Tips that people don't talk about. And look out for that because I am going to force myself to sit down this weekend and do it. I'm really, we really have been talking about how that we're not making videos and neglecting it. And it's, it's making me feel terrible. So we're going to, we're going to work harder and get videos for you guys, which is why I'm doing one right now before work. I'm not really talking about what I'm putting on. I guess I am a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so that is where I have been. I've been working two jobs. Now, I am... I knew it. Things are, like I said, things are really getting better. Things are looking up. I've been trying very hard not to my makeup, but when you put out a cute little collab like BT21, because I am weak when it comes to anything to do with BTS, still don't have the brand new Proof album, haven't been able to buy it yet, but I will be treating myself to that album the beginning of September, which is in just a couple of weeks. But other than that, everything has just been work. I work every day, 10 hours a day. But I will tell you this, I really, I like both of the jobs. I like, I like both of them. They're, it was very hard to learn this new job. It's a brand new industry that I have moved into in my mid forties. I've been in hotel management now for what, 20 years. So this was a huge transition for me. And I'm learning an, an industry I've never worked in, or I knew nothing about until right now. And I had um, a friend of mine said, you know, I can help you get into this industry. This is what you'll be doing. I no longer work face to face with the public at this job. I don't have to work on the phone with the public. I only deal with <clears throat> other employees doing what I do. It is a very difficult job, incredibly hard. I'm still learning. I've been there for two months, just over two months, and I'm still learning. Um, but I love it. I love it. It's... I get to sit down. I don't have to be on my feet. Nobody is making fun of me for not being on my feet. Nobody is making fun of the way I look. They do not care what you wear. I mean, as long as your underwear aren't hanging out and you're not wearing controversial things, you can wear shorts, you can wear sundresses, which is what I do most days. You can have your shoulders out like this. Like, yeah, as long as you don't stink and you're clean and you aren't wearing like anything offensive, they really don't mind what you can wear. Guys wear ball caps if you want. Like it's a very laid back atmosphere. Um, they've catered in lunch for us a couple of times. I get double time if I work on a holiday. I've never had any of that in the hospitality industry. They don't, I mean, if they buy us pizza one day, it's because they feel bad because we had a terrible week. This is just, and it's, it's such a new culture for me to get used to being valued and treated well and appreciated. They even do bonuses twice a year with profit sharing that the company makes. And to, for me, that kind of stuff is unheard of. And then with the other company that's based out of Northern California, he also, the owner of that company, it's a small company. I think we only have, we have less than 10 employees, but he also treats me very well. He pays me incredibly well for the work that I do. And he talks to me with respect and kindness. And I just feel like crying because I haven't had this in so long. So for two, even though, yes, I'm tired, I'm working seven days a week, I'm appreciated and I'm treated with kindness and respect and I'm valued and I'm paid well and I've got health insurance again, full benefits. And this is all just what I've been waiting for. So. I am. I know we've come in the past with these videos where we've been so sad and things have been so wrong, but I am so blessed and happy right now, even though I'm very busy and I'm very tired. I'm back to telling you guys things are getting so much better for us. We are 100 days away from our vacation that we've been waiting for now for over two years that's been booked and paid for and waiting. 
well over two years that we're waiting for this vacation. Both jobs knew about it in the interview process, so they're letting me go. And I am just so filled with gratitude that I have found two jobs that are just happy that I love. I don't love them all the time every day. I don't love everyone at them, but there are really good people that just want to see you do well, that appreciate teamwork and that want to help others, you know, excel the way that they do. There's an end without pettiness and drama. And I mean, I mean, although that still exists, it's going to be everywhere you go. But yeah, that's, that's the update today, guys. And it's a good one. Finally. Isn't that, isn't that great to finally have that kind of an update for you? There will be another video this weekend. And then this is going to blow your mind. We have, I had an idea that Marcel and I, let me move this perfume over here so I don't spray it into my coffee. I'm wearing, um, this I believe is called Sinner from Kat Von D Beauty. It's beautiful and it's almost gone. So I'm just finishing it up here. I had a brilliant idea for a video series that Marcel um, has graciously agreed to in indulge me on. Um, the only unfortunate thing is there's going to be a schedule change next month and I might not be able to keep both my jobs. Which makes me sad, but um, I don't know. I, if anyone knows me, they know I will find a way whenever I can. So with that, I'm going to go get changed, get ready, um, get my lunch together and go to work. I'm down doing intermittent fasting, so I do not eat unless it's between the hours of noon and 8 p.m., unless I'm traveling or, you know, desperate times. But generally, that is my rule. Noon to 8, I eat in that window. And then I have to find a way to start walking at night. But things are, yes, looking better. More videos will be coming. I promise I'm going to be more committed. I've just been learning two new jobs and just all of my time and brain power goes to that. So I apologize, I've been away. With that, I will let you guys go, but you know, keep sending questions. I've got a bunch of questions I'm gonna answer in another video and things are getting better. The kittens are doing great. Marcel and I will show them in our next video. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work, but thank you if you've watched this all the way through. Thank you for listening and thank you for being a viewer and a subscriber. And we really do hope to build this channel. We're gonna make more of an effort. Thank you very much. I hope everyone has a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.